to recognize we have the UFCW here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We thank all of you. Opal is here. Yay. We are here in support of the disabled community that is facing a fair increase that is unacceptable. Uh, ATU has been working without a contract since 2009. We are still waiting for those disputes to be solved in binding arbitration. However, TriMet has continued to delay the process and continued to delay the we are going to go in today and we are going to ask the board some very simple things. We can solve these budget issues very simply by bringing paratransit in-house. Lift Woo -hoo! Lift -hoo! Lift -hoo! Lift -hoo! Lift -hoo! We're saying over seven million, that's right, seven million dollars per year by bringing them out in-house. Guess what it also does? We have two pending strikes that are about to happen. Neela Street has already approved their strike sanction and the Beaverton location uh, is uh, quickly following behind. That means the most vulnerable people out there are gonna be without service. Yeah. Why? Because the general manager of TriMet has thought that it's uh, better to solve these disputes on the street and shut the system down. Why? Because they keep losing. They've lost one unfair labor practice and they will be uh, uh, losing the second one here as soon as we hear the decision. We're moving on to arbitration. We believe yeah. these services are just as important as fire and police. And Thank therefore you. these yes. disputes should be resolved in binding arbitration. TriMet doesn't like it. They want to try to repeal the law. We are not going to take it. You're not going to take it. The community. <laughs> with the board of directors of TriMet. Thank you. Hello, John. All right, John. Go give him hell, John. Give him hell. Go in there and give those motherfuckers. A-T-U. 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 A-T-